Amazon uh, now gives you ex access to their voice services within the iPhone, but it is very limited. And again, you have It's to not even as good as the Echo. No. Can't do all the things the you Echo can do. You can't do the flash briefing. Yeah. Um, so it's within the uh, Amazon shopping app. So you Oh, it's not in the Amazon A Word app? No. It's in the, <laughs> I know, isn't that weird? Because you could, yeah. The, okay. Yeah. So you have to open this up. And here's my Amazon. And then <laughs> That's pretty funny. you have to update it if you haven't updated it in a while. And then you just press <coughs> this. So you can say things like, add dog food to my shopping list. See, I find that useful. Oh, I didn't get Let's try it again. What's the most popular dog food? <laughs> now, you will have to, the first time you use it, and you've already set it I up. Have. Uh, you will have to allow it access to the microphone. Mm -hmm. So the first thing you you, know, you type, I, I oh, haven't you used haven't it used yet. It yet. You, so I tapped the microphone button in my screen. Amazon shopping app, and it said, tells you what you could do using your voice. You could search, reorder, add to cart, track orders. By the way, I use that feature of Echo all the time. I order, you know, I run, I'm shaving, and I go, oh, I need new razor blades, or I, I need new toothpaste, and I will just say, hey, Echo, get me some more toothpaste. She says, well, the most recent toothpaste you ordered is Colgate Total, and would you like more of that? And you say, yes, what's your pass, your code? And I say the number, and then it orders it. And that's actually, I think, really convenient. Mm -hmm. Less so to have to go to an app. I'm already in the app. I could just now at this point, you know, type toothpaste. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, you have to access the microphone, so I'm going to say yes. Okay. But, you know, you had the, um, that, sorry, and I shouldn't talk while you're trying to do it. So she's, she's listening. What did I just ask for? Oh, and I, I have, have to sign, sign in. in. Okay, well, you See, had... already too many steps. <laughs> you don't have to sign in every time, just once. Yeah, but I mean, uh, this is the kind of thing that discourages you from doing these new assistants when you could just talk to Siri. But you had the... Yes, that's true. You had the caller over the weekend that was blind, that was using... <clears throat> yeah, and that was cool, yeah. right? Because it, uh, if you think about it, somebody who's blind now has a, a voice interface mm -hmm. to their computer... Uh, that's fantastic. Yeah. And what did he, I forgot what he wanted to do. He, he wanted, wanted to, to uh, use if this, then that to send emails, mm -hmm. right? He said, is there any way I can use my Amazon Echo to email somebody? And there's a workaround that uses the to-do list. And when you add something to a particular to-do list, then you can have an if this, then that script that says, oh, I see something in that to-do list and emails it to somebody but you can only have one recipient it, it has to be short and this is the main reason i think that you don't have this skill in an amazon echo is they don't want you to say long passages siri you, you can go on and on and on you know send a text message to megan tell her i'm running late i'll be here a little bit can i stop off and get you some campbell's chicken soup i'm on my way and i drive me by the store and perhaps you this has gone on too long so maybe i should stop right now but i'm having too much fun dictating it signed leo that would, Siri would do that, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amazon Echo, I'd be cut off after the first five or six words. Right, that's true. So, so far this isn't working so well. Let's see if, you're supposed to be able I to play to music too. To, oh, you okay, can? Yeah. Okay. Play Beyonce. Cross your fingers. Oh. Okay, so it sh once. Now I have to interact with it. Yeah, once it did play on my Google Prime, I mean, my Amazon Prime Music, but it didn't that time. Let's see. <clears throat> now, I purchased Amazon Unlimited, so maybe this will be a little bit different. That's the Amazon, you know, version of Apple Music. Play the Beatles. Nothing has, the, nobody has the Beatles, do they? No. Play the Beatles. <laughs> This is exactly why voice assistants just make oh, people on. crazy. No, I got Play-Doh. I got the black and white. Play-Doh Beatles? I said play the Beatles. I would order Play-Doh Beatles. Do they have that? <laughs> Let me see if I... I mean, maybe it's just because you don't pay for music or something. <laughs> I don't pay for anything. What, what should I say? Listen or play? Oh, listen to... Listen to Mumford and Sons. <laughs> <laughs> But it looks like I've found some keep calm and listen to Mumford in some tank top. Um, not what I was looking for. How about play Mumford and Sons? Rolling Stone, Bob Dylan on the cover. Arizona Coyote, Stanley Cup playoffs. Okay. So it did it played before. Listen to some music, you nitwit. This is why now. I hate voice assistants. Now, now. Oh, it showed me how to buy a Sonos. Okay. You know, you really should just have a Sonos instead of trying mm -hmm. to get it through me. Let me try this. Okay. Where's my package? Okay. Oh, it doesn't talk, though. 
No, it doesn't talk, <clears throat> but it did okay. tell me where all my packages are. Okay. <laughs> including my Schlag Smart Deadlock. <laughs> Is that how I pronounce it? Schlag. Schlag. Order emergency underwear. Yeah, there we go. Emergency underpants. So. <laughs> <laughs> there okay, you go. so. That's good. It's, uh, it's okay. It's not useful at all. And it's funny that they would even call this a, a, a word, echo, on your uh, Apple. This is, this is just voice search. I'm very disappointed. 